Do you know how to data clean in Onautrix? Also, do you know the difference between data cleansing and data scrubbing? If the answer is not, my name is Rodrigo and today I would like to share with you how to use the tool called data cleansing in Onautrix. Let's do it together. First of all, guys, if you are looking for use Autrix in your company and you have no idea how to start, please consider to check the link below in the description of this video because we in DR, we are official partners of Autrix and we can help you to achieve these goals, okay? If you are looking for data-driven company to increase, to boost your results with data and you are considering Autrix uh, as a good platform for that please don't forget us to help you in this path okay we are here to help you as much as you can as much as possible okay and as fast as possible as well now let's move on to the topic of this video firstly guys i would like to answer your question if you are looking for the answer about what's the difference between data cleaning or data scrubbing you are looking for this answer, the answer is there's no difference, okay? Because data cleaning or we can say data cleansing on Alteryx means remove new rows, remove new columns, replace new values, uh, replace unwanted characters or even modify cases. That's This is what we can do using the two data cleansing on Alteryx, okay? So that's why I'm telling you there's no difference between data cleaning or data scrubbing because data scrubbing means uh, remove new columns, remove new rows or re replace new values. This is the conception behind data scrubbing and behind data cleaning is this part, the data scrubbing part and even more means replace numeric replace numeric fields for example numeric unwanted characters uh, replace symbols in the data and many other things that i'm gonna show you right now okay answer first of all the answer is there is no difference between data scrubbing or data cleaning okay now let's move on to Nautrix preparation section and we're gonna use these two that i'm gonna introduce to you today data cleansing so click once then click an open example and automatically Autrix will show us this uh, tab related to uh, data sample and explanations about this tool. I'm gonna use this first first option over here to explain to you guys, but firstly, the, let's run the workflow once, then click in this tool, the first one. Okay, here we have different kind of fields. As you can see, we have customer ID, first name, last name, term, joint date, region, score, first purchase date. And also we have numeric, we have string fields, we have date fields. Yes, numeric, string and date fields. Okay. So we have all the type of fields. We just don't have the geographical ones, but we have almost everything in terms of variations uh, of data types okay and how can we use uh, this how can we use uh, uh, data cleansing on Autrix? data cleansing we works like a macro what the meaning what is the meaning of macro i mean uh, a combination of multiple actions inside only one tool okay with one only one tool you can do more than one action that's the meaning behind macro concept okay and data cleansing works like macro because using data cleansing we can easily just select or unselect it here and we can remove new rows or new columns as i told you before also we can move in a little bit down and just doing these cleaning steps with specific fields okay but first of all let's check this part okay remove new rows or remove new columns columns will works only with all the row new or all the column new okay this is the the requirement to use this selection over here on data clicks okay so i'm gonna move in back a little bit to text input i i've already showed you here on youtube how to configure configure this tool and i'm gonna put it here like one new line two new lines in blank okay once i run 
I'll be able to see that I have two lines in no right now, okay? Also, I'm gonna move him back a little bit here and then move to the end of this first row, then go one column over here and say, for example, ID, okay? I'm gonna put ID and I will leave in blank because automatically Alteryx will consider it no column. As you can see in the result section over here, now we have ID column with no values. All the data is new in this column. And also we have the same structure, but for rows, okay, horizontally in the row seven and row eight. All right. Now let's move in back to the data cleansing and then select over here. I'm, I would like to remove new rows. For example, once I click it here, I will just unselect all the other options over here because I'm just explaining this first part. If I click on rule nose and click in run, instantaneously Alteryx just removed the two rows that uh, that was that were in were with no values. Okay. Also, I can click it here and both remove new rows and new columns, okay? That's why I told you this is a macro, okay? Multiple actions at the same time. Then I click in run again. And as you can see, I don't have the line seven and eight anymore. And even I don't have the column called ID, the one that I updated, okay? A few moments ago. That's the how we can use this part of data cleansing. Okay, first of all, remove new data. Then we can move in back to here to select field to the cleanse and change a little bit over here something. Okay, let's see for example when I see the input of this data, I have on first name, I have some trailing spaces over here which means that I have more than one single space in the end of the word. That's why I have trailing space, okay? When we have this kind of uh, situation, Alteryx just shows this red flag over here. That means that we have trailing space. As you can see, I have here on Galileo, I have here on Pastor, I have here on Midwest as well. So I have three red flags in my data set tell me that I have trailing space. How can we remove this kind of trailing space? First of all, we have to select which field we want to uh, work with. Okay, in this case, I will select first name, then last name, finally, region. Okay, so three fields already selected. Then I just moving down a little bit to remove unwanted characters over here. And then I will select leading and trailing white space. What's the meaning of this? Each of these selections means that we want to remove the selection that we have here. Okay. So if I select the leading and trailing white space means that outer will remove automatically those situations in my data. In each which data Rodrigo the data that I selected previously here okay so I click at the three and then I click it on reading in trailing white space once I click in run I'm not seeing any modifications but it's because I'm in the input section if I click on output I can see that I don't have also either the rows and columns with new values or the first name, last name and region with trailing white space. Okay. Now everything was properly cleaned. Okay. Properly adjusted. Also guys, we can just move in a little bit here and do more data cleaning at the same time. Okay. For example, here in term, we have number, number of months. Okay, so, and uh, yes, we have number of months and we have the description months as well as letter. If I, for example, know that terms means a number in months, I already know when my company already knows. So I want to use this column with numbers, just numbers. I don't want to use the months description over here with the number. I can move in here again, click on term for example, and then I can use another kind of selection over here. The one that remove letters, for example. So uh, I will just click it here on letter, then run and let's see what will happen with term. Okay. 
when I look at to turn, now I'm not seeing anything because I'm again in the input section. Always be careful with that, okay, guys? Usually we do something and then we check it and oh, nothing happened. It's because you are in input. Always, when you think you do you did something and not work it, just check if you are in input. 99% uh, of the times will be this day. So then you click on output. But now, guys, we have turn adjusted, but we have another problem. Okay, because as I told you, once you select the fields over here, Autrix apply this uh, row for all the fields that you selected. If I click on letter and I selected a, a field that it's all string, Autrix just remove everything. In this case, I have to do two steps. For example, first remove the trailing white space. Okay uh then without letters okay i i have to unselect letters over here so first name last name region just leading trailing white space and then i can put it another uh data cleansing in sequence over here then i will select just the few that i want to remove in this case term then put it here uh instead leading or trailing white space i'm gonna select the letter all right and I will click on run. Let's remove, let's remove this comment over here just to be more clear for you. And now you can see in the second, in the second data cleansing tool, I have no more layers in the terms, but now I have red flags for trailing white space. Why? Because between the number and the letters, I had previously uh, some white space, okay? And I just said to Alterx, remove letters, not the blank, not the, the white space. So instead, just select the letter. I will put it all white space as well. And, uh, and then click in run. Then check. Now I don't have the red flags anymore. Okay. Let's move in back a little bit, guys, to the this first data cleansing. Because I want to use another one here on last name. I have some new values. Also on the score, I have some new values. The values that uh, remove new data over here didn't remove it. Why? Because those new values are just specific in specific data, in specific fields on the row or even on the column. Okay. I don't have this in all the row, all column, the new values. That's why that's why Alteryx didn't remove, but I can remove as well or or better not remove sorry i can replace this new for something for example if i click it here replace with blanks all the string fields will became blank instead new and if i put it here replace with zero numeric fields all the new values for example on the score will be zero instead no value okay this is good because uh for example in the future maybe you are trying to do some summarize of numbers like uh, an average a median a sum max minimum and if you use no values you have problem also if you add, add some formulas in your workflow you will have problems with new values to work okay so in this case i will just select a little bit more a uh, last name i already have but i don't have score select over here and then I will click on this, both options, replace blanks when for uh, with blank uh, for string fields and with zero for numeric fields, okay? Click and run again. And then you can check, now I don't have new values on uh, last name. Now I have blank and on score, if I look it, I have here zero instead new. Okay, so work it properly. Let's move on to the second data cleansing. We did a lot already, right? Now we can remove, for example, oh, these guys, numbers and punctuations. We'll do the same that we we did with our white space or letter, okay? Also, you can do with tabs, line breaks, and duplicate white space, okay? It's up to you and the condition that you have in your data set, but you can do everything at the same time or even with two data cleansings depend of the context depend of data modeling that you are working with all right but i want to show you one thing more for example region 
instead you use just a, a one letter in cap, I want to use all the, the, the word in capital letter, okay? How do I modify this case? I can just move in down the last part of data cleansing, select modify case, one I selected, Alteryx will work with this, modify case, this rule for all the fields that I selected over here. As you can see, I have just term selected. So term is a number. This modify case won't work with uh, term. But if I selected here region, for example, I can apply some modifications, some modification with the case, okay? In this case, I will put it just all in uppercase. I don't want to use lowercase. Title case is the actual rule. So this, when the first word is in uh, upper and the rest in lower means uh, title case for Alteryx, okay? I'm gonna use uppercase, then run. Then check the results. Something bad happened. Let's check what happened. Now I have a problem, guys. Uh, region is vstream. Why didn't work? because I put it some number and a string field at the same time. Let's see. I'm going to add a new one, a new data cleansing, just to work with your region. Run in order to see the fields over here in this data cleansing, then select region, then select modify case, all in uppercase. Let's see the results. Now I have all the region in uppercase. Let's move him back here a little bit. Maybe I select something here. Ah, okay. What is the problem when I try to do something with region just to modify for uppercase over here? What is the problem that became all blank? Because I had some rule before modify case, I have this rule, the rule that remove all letters in those fields. So if I select region here and remove letters over here, the result will be blank. That's why I had problems with modify case. So in this case, I needed to use a new data cleansing as well. Okay. Then one rule is specifically just for region uppercase. Once I click and uh, run, I see the results over here. Okay. So I have here region, I have here leading and trailing white space. I recommend you guys that you use this option for all, uh, all data modeling that you are doing, okay? I just recommend you, strongly recommend you to use it. Oh, let's unselect region over here, then click. As you can see, you can work in different ways, but you have to check and be careful with each step that you apply in each part of your workflow, because this is a sequence, all right? So here I have no, no field selected again. So region once more uppercase and I can see now that I don't have no values in rows, no values on columns. I don't have even trailing white space and I don't have more new values for string fields or new values for uh, numeric fields. Okay. That's how data cleansing work on Alteryx. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to share this content guys. This is really, really important for us. And if you have any question, any question, any doubt, just leave in the comment below. It will be a pleasure answering you. See you in the next video. Bye.